Well, as you can tell by looking behind me, that we've had some storms lately. And here in the mountains, the water hits the mountains and runs down into the valleys and fills up these, these creeks that normally are peaceful, quiet, and serene. But when storms come, they become inundated, washing over all the things in the creek. And isn't that life? Often in life, we are living a peaceful and serene life. Everything is, well, love, love. And all of a sudden, storms come. They begin to inundate and overflow and overwhelm our lives. You know, I'm standing on a rock here that's actually overwhelmed by the storms of the day. If you look behind me where that white water is, usually there's a rock there that you can actually walk out and fish on. But today it's overwhelmed. Today it's, it can't be seen. Strangely enough, Jesus taught us a couple of things in his Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter five to chapter seven. And at the end of chapter seven, he, he said, he who listens to my words and follows them, he is like a man who built his house upon the rock. The rains may come, the floods may overwhelm, you may get inundated with, with life, but he stays secure. And the difference is building your life not on the rock, but on shifting sand. Jesus had just got done talking about practical things to do as, as human beings. And he said, following those things, build your house on a solid rock. Today, may you build your house on the rock, which is Jesus. He is the rock of our salvation. Thank you today for a moment of your time. May you be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless.